Hello, and welcome back. This time, we are going to see my uh, Lego haul. Um, these are things I was able to get at a pretty good discount, uh, because I know where to go online and find them. Uh, so far, what I have found is if I go through shops that are in uh, Europe, or uh, occasionally in the U.S., but most of the time, I find some of my best deals in, uh, say, Germany or Belgium, uh, and of course, if I can, from Denmark, uh, as that's where the actual Lego group itself is located. Uh, so, let me show you what I have this time today. Uh, so, first things up, I have Ninjago. And with Ninjago, this is, uh, let's see, the Misfortune? Yeah. It's the... Uh, Bounty of uh, Misfortune is what the ship's called, and this is from the uh, Ninjago series, uh, specifically the Space Pirate series. So uh, I can't wait to take this apart and uh, have some fun with it. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but this is the first thing I got, and the rest of the sets that I have here are mostly uh, the education sets, which are a little hard to come by here in Japan. So what I do is, uh, I, again, I go online and get them from Europe, since I don't have to go through any special channels. Uh, apparently in Japan, for education sets, uh, you have to buy it through a school, and here they charge two or three times more than I can get it from, say, Europe. Uh, so it makes sense to import it in from Europe instead. So, without further ado, let's show those sets. Put these here on the table. So, first things up is this particular little education set. Uh, what I really like about this one are the fins, but it also comes with a nice little solar panel. And uh, let me pull that out. Electrical cable. There we go. So here we are. And of course, we get some educational books. So we have A, B, and I guess I have another. Okay, a separate B, as well as this particular set right here, this booklet. Here we are. Alright, so let's take a look here, and we get the um, electrical motor, as you can see right here, basic e-motor, and some cables, and cables, and a uh, rechargeable battery, and of course we have the solar panel. Which is really neat for Lego. And we have the... Um, I forget what this module is called, but basically you can use this module to graph the amount of current that you're getting uh, from the motor. And here are the fan blades. I really like these fan blades. My idea with these blades is to take them and make a avatar-like helicopter, which is sort of a VTOL-type uh, helicopter. So I think these will be awesome. Um, I might be able to actually get it to fly. So that's my hope. If I could use uh, these to produce enough uh, thrust, uh, downward wind thrust, to create the flight that I want. So that's why I bought this set. Actually, I bought two of them. So this is one, and I have the other one in my room. Alright, so let's kind of put this up a little bit. I don't want to mix all this just yet. Okay. 
Okay, set that aside. Okay, next education set right here is set uh, 9641. And what I really like about this set is the fact that it comes with this uh, pressure gauge so you can see how much air you have in the tank, which by the way it comes with right here, the, an air tank. So let's open this up, check it out. Okay, so they tell you don't drop the uh, gauge because it's uh, kind of fragile. So uh, in Japanese they call it uh, waremono, so it can break. And here we are, here are all the parts. So we get a um, air pump right here, a bunch of little hoses, and you see right here the air tank, and of course, uh, it's kind of hard to see this, but uh, right here inside this packaging is the actual um, air gauge to see, or the pressure gauge, uh, which in English is called a uh, manometer. Very cool. Of course, we get a um, pneumatic switch, or air switch. And so this would be kind of cool to have. Uh, I can imagine using this on my uh, Samson, uh, my Avatar Samson helicopter for certain functions. Uh, specifically, uh, like opening doors where I want it to happen smoothly. So that will be fun. Alright, so let's put this back up. Cool. Alright, so I have three of these. You can put two of them away. And so again, another education set. This is from the Mindstorm series. And this is, uh, let's see, what set number? Kind of a long set number, but it is uh, 2000704 is the set number. And what I like about this one is that it comes with these uh, rock pieces, these big old rock pieces, and miscellaneous pieces, as well as inside here, some rubber bands, which are really nice to use, uh, especially with uh, pneumatic sets and the like. So it's really good when you could use uh, rubber bands that are official Lego rubber bands. Very cool. Alright, and here's another education set. Uh, set number 45110. Uh, it comes with approximately 200 pieces. And I really like the unique pieces that this one came with. Let's see if I can open this one nicely may have to cut this. Uh, yeah, it looks like I probably should cut it. But, uh, oh, there we go. No need. Cool. So let's open this up. I really like the fact that it comes with this nice blue bin. which makes it really nice to uh, sort, use as a sorting bin later on. So, here you go. There's a good look at some of the interesting little pieces they have in here. I don't remember the price of this set, uh, but I don't believe it was that expensive. Uh, however, you cannot get this set through uh, normal Lego stores, so as, because it's an education set. Oh well, I actually get what looks like a chrome, chromed, yeah. You even have a chrome piece in here, which is really cool. Chrome pieces are kind of hard to come by from Lego. But yeah, it looks like a uh, chrome helmet for a knight, maybe even a king. Very cool. You got a little map in here. Awesome. Alright, so your basic larger blocks and some little minifigures as well. Here we are. Okay, cool. See a nice little uh, green uh, plant piece here, uh, like grass. Nice little push piece. Those are cool. And uh, crystal uh, rock piece here, also very cool. 
And of course, you get a little ladder in here, which you can see here. So very cool. And of course, you get a dark bluish gray base plate. It looks like a uh, 16 by 32 size right here. And it looks like a uh, castle column piece, uh, basic panel. So it looks like a 4x3 panel that is maybe uh, 5 or 6 bricks high. I think 5. 5 bricks high. Alright, very cool. Let's kind of get back in here. Cool. So that'll be fun to get into a little bit later. Okay, last but certainly not least is this big one right here. So let's see if I can get this one out. This is a really big one. Turn this around for you so you can see it. So, as you see, this is among the Serious Play series. Uh, this particular theme here is also bought through the education line. Uh, serious Play is typically aimed at your uh, adult crowd, um, and they use it typically to train um, people in uh, corporations and large companies. Uh, to think creatively and so you get these kind of sets and you can make really interesting builds and also use them for um, how to do leadership uh, using Lego which is really interesting to me. Alright so let's open her up take a look at it. So as you see here this is set number 20004321 and let's open this big old puppy up. Oh, wow. Wow. There's a lot in here. A lot of big pieces, too. Nice. Get your soft axles. I really like the fact that <laughs> all these uh, major pieces are already pretty much pre-sorted. So I don't have to spend any time, really, just sorting through all this, which is awesome. Kind of stick some of this here. Oh wow, cool! I like these little uh, ribbed hoses. These are really neat for uh, various uh, designs. And let's see minifigure heads and other gears. And it looks like we have some Technic beams and uh, plates. And. Oh wow, looks like we even have some Duplo fences right here. And uh, Technique shooters, as well as Technique axles. Very, very cool. Oh, here we go. And some Technique string. More uh, hoses and soft axles. Wow. Very, very cool. So we get a lot, a lot of these hoses. That's awesome. Oh wow, even more of these flexible hoses. Very cool. A lot of these black plates. Here we go, some uh, regular sized Lego fences. And some uh, spring shocks and some more of these uh, flexible hoses. Not sure what that's for. Oh wow, that's a lot of flexible hoses. Oh wow. Sweet. Oh, nice. 
a lot of uh, these large technique gears and some of these uh, 1 by 2 by 5 uh, trans blue blocks. And of course we have some more plates and some technique uh, uh, bricks. Oh, very nice. That is a huge sloping piece. I don't see this very often. Oh, is it me or does it seem like I have two of everything? It kind of looks that way right now. Well, I gotta say, this, bat, this box was packed full. I'd say it was like 90% full. Nice. Little turntable pieces. So, it's nice to get these uh, 2 by 8 bricks. Uh, it seems like Lego is making less and less of your basic bricks. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Ah, your basic uh, friction pens. More uh, assorted parts. Same thing. Oh wow, that's a lot of chain. Lego chain. Ah, cool. Nice arches right here. Another bag of uh, Lego beans and Lego bricks. Another mixed bag. There we go. Now none of these bags have any numbers as I have seen so far. They're all sealed, thankfully. Ah, very cool. These nice technique connectors. I like these. More assorted uh, technique parts. Some more uh, minifigure heads. Oh man. As if I didn't have enough of these now. A ton of these 2x2 two two with a uh, uh, pen on the side attached to it. Huh. I guess pink is in. And of course we have the non-friction Technique pens. And more uh, Technique soft axles. Assorted plates and minifigure parts. Ah, the short hoses. That's cool. Now somewhere in here I'm supposed to have, or maybe I'm thinking of another set. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's the other set. I was thinking of the landscape kit that comes with the Lego money. And of course we have more uh, Technique pen and axle. And interesting how they mix the uh, Lego heads with the uh, Technique pieces. Hoses and string. Another bag of hoses and string. Some of these looks like I'm getting at least two, maybe four of each of these bags. Cool. And of course, we get the official Lego sorting trays. But when I feel these, wow, this is a really thin plastic. That, that's kind of disappointing. I was expecting thicker plastic, but as you can see here, Bends really easy. That's somewhat unfortunate to me. I was hoping to be a little more sturdy. But, on the other hand, it is nice. You get three of these. One, two, three. And that comes with the set. So, that will conclude today's Lego haul. And looks like I have quite a bit of... Uh, sorting and storing to do, and I also need to kind of make sure I have all my parts here. But until next time, thanks for joining, and I'll see you in the next video.